You've had your mom telling you to quit. You've had your dad telling you to quit. You've had your brother or your sister telling you to stop using. Why don't you stop using? Why don't you just quit? And they don't. So what makes me think I can tell an addict to stop using and they're all of a sudden going to quit? It's very personal to me, addiction. And I know that someone can recover, and they do recover. The individual will come into our program because they have issues with opiates, and they want help. This program allows the individual to be seen multiple times a week. Um, they're involved with therapy. They're involved with peer support services. We try to link them to services in the community. With the Core 12 program, it is an intensive program and there's a lot of intimidation when someone is starting in the program. They feel as if it's going to take over their whole life and that's just not true and I've gotten to see the perspective of the individuals in the program that's changed for them as well. You still go to work and spend time with your kids and function the way your life has functioned. It just actually gets better. You know, we work with medications and we work with um, you know all these different resources that are available to us now. but. All of it is a band-aid until the consumer is ready. In life, I feel that the only time you get to see a transformation in someone's life is if you've known them for a while, you watch someone grow up through childhood, adolescence to adulthood, that's a transformation. But in the six months that we've had this program, I've gotten to directly witness transformation in people's lives. They have that support, those services that they really need that they're not getting elsewhere. I take this journey with them. I'm not scared to get down in the trenches with them and help pull them out. I'm an addict myself. I'm a person in recovery. You know, I'm never cured. Uh, it's, there's, no, there's not a cure for it. And I'm there to motivate them, to try to give them hope so they can, um, so they can succeed. Ultimately, it's up to the individual and when they've decided that they don't want to live the life that they were living anymore. I get the pleasure of seeing them feel that empowerment once they've been in the program and they make the decision to change their life. And as soon as I think I'm not fighting it is when I'll fail. <laughs>